big news once again. And LSUodyssey.com is all over it. We cannot get away from this breaking news stream. It just keeps going because LSU are in such a big period of transition that things are happening left. They're happening on the right. Happening on the center. It's just crazy. You know, Frank Wilson equalized a lot of the sorrow and the sadness and the and the and the you know, mixed emotions of yesterday. Frank Wilson's hiring hit the nail on the head. Absolutely pounded that nail into the into the wood. Brian Kelly was, you know, one hundred percent rhapsodized for his great work. In, in getting Frank Wilson to come back to LSU. What did it require to bring Frank Wilson back to LSU? How much money? Who had to go? You know, I didn't think anybody would have to go for Frank Wilson to arrive, but that's not what I'm hearing. Um, breaking news today. You know, not only does... All day I was digging on this story and, and was close to breaking it, but I just did not have a source who could confirm the last part, and I just was not comfortable in putting that out there until I had all my ducks in a row. But Brad Davis retained his offensive line head coach. Officially. Fantastic news. Expected, but great to hear anyway, and we needed. We should have heard this last week at least. Come on. Why keep any recruits such like Will Campbell and Emory Jones, Bo Bordelon, Julian Armea, Kelvin Banks? Why are you keeping them waiting? But you know, this the 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 positive recruiting momentum I was feeling coming off of the capture of Frank Wilson bringing Brian Polian, recruiting mastermind and special teams coach, over from Notre Dame. You know, I was I was feeling really positive about how things were going. I got to say, after this last piece of breaking news, I can't say that. I can't say that 100%. Because DBU Miyagi, as we've called him, the Miyagi of DBU, the man who, who pretty much established that modern template of greatness from the cornerback position at LSU. You know, as far back as 2013 was a strength and conditioning assistant under Tommy Moffitt on that 2007 national championship staff. You know, it's a combination of, you know, of Moffitt Mickey are all going to go, if McMahon's going to go, you really want to turn the page, LSU, then see ya. That's how Corey Raymond saw it. And I, I, I hope LSU threw as much money as they possibly could at Corey, but it doesn't seem like it. It seems like Billy Napier came out from underneath a rock Everyone is ripping him apart. He gets that Florida job. He's not long, waiting for LSU anymore. And he goes right at the heart of LSU and takes our best assistant coach over the last decade. Save for winning a Broyles Award, which he should have at least won at least once at this point. Corey Raymond is among the greatest assistants in LSU Tigers history and in modern college football right now. He will be a future head coach if he wants that role. But losing Corey Raymond, you know, I I said it I said it a week ago in our piece about assistant coaches, who LSU needed to keep. At the top of that list 
was Corey Raymond. Tied at number one was Brad Davis. Next to them was Kevin Falk and Greg McMahon. Well, now, McMahon's gone. Joseph's gone. Raymond's gone. Brad Davis has to wait forever just to even get retained. I just, I've got to question Brian Kelly on this. I know there's a lot of LSU fans who just aren't, they don't, they've got the purple and gold glasses on. They're not going to question anything throughout this process. They don't want to step on anyone's toes. They don't want to look like they're criticizing the team. Stop. Be real. Be fucking real here. Okay? Losing Corey Raymond is an absolute fucking catastrophe. It is a disaster. Why? Not only is LSU losing Cordell Flott, Derek Stingley Jr., and Eli Ricks at the corner position within the same offseason... There's now just Dwight McLaughlin there to be that veteran presence. And now, you know, with Corey Raymond there, you've got a great guy who's fantastic at developing young talent, getting them ready to play immediately, and that guy is gone. I get it, I get it. LSU announced Kerry Cooks is going to be a, a, a DB's coach and all this stuff, and I get that. But Kerry Cooks is not Corey Raymond. Okay? Like, I, I, I get that Brian, that Brian Kelly wants to make LSU in his vision. I understand that. And I think it's great that he retained Frank Wilson so he can recruit Louisiana at an optimum. But you can't recruit Louisiana at an optimum, at a maximum when you lose a guy like Corey Raymond and when you're willing to lose a guy like Corey Raymond and not only that you're willing to lose him to one of LSU's biggest rivals ever outside of Alabama it's Florida and now they've got Corey Raymond Florida has been in the shit recruiting DBs in the last few years I mean hell one of their highest rated DBs was so stupid he grabbed his shoe and threw it off of our starting tight end when the game was basically over and won. Handed us the game. That was one of their star DBs under Dan Mullen. Okay. Corey Raymond, Billy Napier, they're going to go in there into Florida and raise some hell. This is absolutely going to keep Azaria Thomas at Florida. Zaria Thomas, for all intents and purposes, Corey Raymond guy, I would be shocked if he went anywhere else but Florida now. I mean, Corey Raymond goes right to Florida. I mean, this has been rumored in the past. Corey Raymond to Florida. I know it's familiar to you as well. You've heard it before as a rumor. There was always those years where it was like, can LSU retain Corey Raymond? Can we... After 2019, it seemed like that was going to be the year Corey Raymond was going to go. And we somehow kept Corey Raymond through 2020. And then you you, you bring him back into 2021, too. And you've got one of the most incredibly historic loaded DB secondaries in college football history. As far as rankings, as far as, as pedigree, and uh, what happens? Derek Stingley Jr., after making one of his sickest plays ever, that forced fumble against Central Michigan, he's out for the season. Eli Ricks' shoulder keeps giving him trouble. He never got the surgery. He wanted to keep playing through it. And then he felt, then he felt the pain from that. Against, the, against Kentucky, ripped his shoulder up, 
has to get surgery. He's gone for the year, and now he's in the transfer portal. Like, I cannot stress enough how scared I am for the future of DBU right now. I mean, like, LSU's got it covered with some with some strong, fantastic elite safeties. You know, Sage Ryan, Matthew Langlois, Jay Ward will probably be there for another season. Cam Lewis just went out and he, he played really well and, and showed some of the newer, some of the younger guys the ways. You know, Major Burns had some injury troubles and it looks like he'll be, you know, ready to go and fit and firing and back. But I gotta just, I just, this, at cornerback, you know, Demarius McGee is the biggest name out of that 2021 class for at corner. I mean, it was it was basically a, a an empty class as far as cor- the cornerback position, and we were like, oh well, we're so loaded, we don't, it doesn't care, it, who cares, we don't need him. And um, wow, three big names all gone in the same off season, and now. The man who made DBU, Corey Raymond, gone as well. I am beyond shocked. I, you know, nothing should shock you anymore at this point. I, I said it. No, I said it yesterday on our reaction video to yesterday's crazy news that no one's job was safe. That. You know, Kelly's keeping this so close to the vest. We don't know everything until it just until it comes out, until it leaks, until it trickles out. We've been breaking some of that news. Other people have been breaking some of that news. But when it came across my phone, hey bro, I just want to give you a heads up. Corey Raymond is going to Florida. I about freaked out. This is a big, big problem for LSU. How the hell do LSU, you know, finish this class right in the DB section? How the hell are LSU going to, you know, pursue Denver Harris now? How are LSU going to pursue... Are, are, are we going to be able to keep LaTerrence Welch's commitment now? You know, LaTerrence Welch is the, is the best corner we have right now committed from the last two classes. And I'm extremely worried if he's going to flip and go somewhere else. I'm just shocked, y'all. Um... We always knew Corey Raymond would, would go at some point. We always knew, you know, he has a myriad of opportunities. It, it seemed like Texas was going after him hard a few years back. Florida has gone after him a few times over the years, over his LSU tenure. And just seeing this amazing coach with such a perfect track record. Great culture guy, great locker room guy, absolutely egoless. Players run through walls for that guy, and he doesn't have to yell or scream or say a damn word even. Just gives you that stare, and you know what the hell you need to do. Losing a guy like Corey Raymond, that, it's a kick to the crotch. Okay? Like, I know that might sound vulgar, but that's what it feels like. Okay? Like, it, this is... These are uncharted waters for LSU for the last almost 15 seasons, okay? Ever since Nick Saban left, there has not been such a rebuild at LSU, such a turnover 
And I'm not just talking players. We've seen the turnover of players for the last few years. We know what that is about, and we know where that comes from. But there hasn't been such a shakeup in the staff like this since the Saban era. I mean, less miles to Coach O. There was a few guys who left. There was a few here and a few there. Yeah, it's always going to happen. This, you're not going to recognize LSU from last year except for just the players that are out there. And I'm starting to get worried with each passing day about some of those, some of those players. Some of the biggest names on this team, you know, one day it feels like there's no way this guy or this guy is going to go anywhere. And then I just hear differently. And then I'm just turned into a completely different direction. I have to follow this type of story. And then, you know, people... People have been very open with information, interestingly enough. There's been a few people who've literally just told me straight up, yeah, I'm transferring. And you're going to see who those people are. You're, you're going to see who those players are. But it doesn't feel good. There is something great in the works for LSU that is just around that corner that I absolutely like. I really wish I could announce it. I can't. I'm sworn to secrecy on it. I know it would completely turn this craziness around. You know, give some give some good vibes to the people, but you know, there's nothing like, you know, hey, here's a Corey Raymond clone for you. You know, it's just you know, Dwayne Thomas is on staff. Dwayne Thomas will probably if he's going to still be there, which I think he absolutely should be. Um, he'll probably be promoted a little bit up, maybe, you know, analyst role, who knows, but, um, I, I just, um, oh my God, this is just incredible. I mean, Corey Raymond leaving LSU is something that, you know, how many, how many different coaches out there wanted this guy? How many different coaches have wanted this guy, have gone after this guy repetitively, relentlessly, furiously, and could never pry Raymond from an assistant coaching job. You know, it's not like he was absolutely entrenched with the greatest gig, with the greatest, uh, you know, perks and everything. He, he was comfortable in his egoless role. At the same time, the truth is, this guy built DBU. This guy recruited his ass off over the last 10 plus years for LSU. And it is just, it is really, really a shame that this happened. Seeing Corey Raymond walk out that door, it's got to hurt. If you're, if you're an LSU fan with any sort of, of conviction you're hurting right now. This is the last thing you wanted to hear. I mean, there's a lot of people who are very, like, respectful of every single decision Brian Kelly has made so far and have defended every single decision Brian Kelly has made so far and, and make sure those purple and gold glasses are on firmly. And even they are absolutely blowing up my phone right now with what is going on. I mean, my buddy Josh is saying I'm sick to my stomach. I can't believe what's going on. You got people telling, you know, saying that, you know, Napier is pretty petty for doing this. And I agree. I think it's a kind of a, kind of a, a fuck you to LSU, to be honest. Um, and I gotta say smart play, smart play and, and, Smart move by Napier because LSU didn't want Napier. LSU did not want Napier, but it looks like Corey Raymond does. And, uh, you know, I'm wondering five, ten years from now whether we'll look back at this moment 
and say this is where LSU's new era fell right on its face, or this is when, you know, everybody was scared and worried and it still worked out. You know, we're right at that what the hell is going to happen mode, where it's like this can go either direction. Things are so volatile right now. Things are so up in the air. Things are so scalampus, uncertain, madcap, topsy-turvy. You know all my usual words that I love to throw around. It's it's all of that in one. Um, losing a guy like Corey Raymond is, you know, for all intents and purposes, after all this momentum, after all this, you know, great PR about Louisiana recruiting and recruiting and recruiting and recruiting, and everybody's really starting to feel like, you know, with Frank Wilson, with Corey Raymond, with Kevin Falk, with this guy, this guy, this guy, LSU are going to be in a fantastic fucking sh place, you know, for the next, could be up to a few years there. Instead, you've, you've got an absolute clusterfuck, um, has to be said. You cannot lose an assistant coach like Corey Raymond and not have some type of uh, huge ramifications from that. Those ramifications are going to be felt over the next few years. And it sucks. This is a big hit. You know, if you were to tell people that we're going to lose Eli Ricks, Mickey Joseph, Max Johnson... You know, Greg McMahon, Corey Raymond. If someone was to tell you we're going to lose all of those guys in one off season because of the, the decisions of our new coach, I think there's a lot of people that say, I don't want that new coach. I, I'm done. I don't care. I don't want that new guy. I... <laughs> I want to be a defender of the faith, but I can't defend this. I don't know what happened exactly, but it feels like there was an impasse and someone wanted to go somewhere else. Someone made kind of a, 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 <laughs> an errant decision in not hiring this guy at all costs, paying him whatever you possibly could. Resign Raymond, do whatever it takes, and we missed the mark here. LSU absolutely it's it's indefensible. I, I can't listen to any LSU fans sit there and defend this, defend this move. It is so indefensible. I just I don't know what happened. I don't know where. Where we go from here. But we'll continue to analyze the situation as, as it goes down. Go Tigers.